I certainly hope there's enough spears on the train for me. Nenge Yomboko, from Cameroon. Do you remember me? It's like... Winthorpe! Lionel! You make a cool brother, Winthorpe. And Winthorpe, tread lightly. Tread carefully, Winthorpe. My brother. I'm so proud of myself today. I'm so proud of myself. You know what? Squad or members, <laughs> whatever we call ourselves over here. You know, we ain't never, never really thinking no name. Maybe that was my mistake. We never thought of a name over here to call our, ourselves. We got traded places today. <laughs> Lock up, load up, get your coffee. Or if it's nighttime, get other things. Do what you do. Because we about to make it do what it do, baby. Yeah. Ray Charles style. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. We really ain't got too much to say. I'm really just about to jump straight in on this one. We got Eddie Murphy in it. That's all that needs to be said. Let's get into it. Central Philadelphia. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a good movie, baby. <laughs> Everything Philly around here. We got Tampa Bay tomorrow. Monday night. Easy work. Baker Mayfield. <laughs> Please. He's a baker. Get out of here. crazy how much different Philadelphia looks from here to now. I was in Philadelphia like a month or so ago. <laughs> it doesn't look like this anymore. Maybe I wasn't at this part. Yeah, you see a lot of that in Philadelphia, definitely. Sad to say. <laughs> One place is guaranteed to be packed no matter what time it is of the day. Dang on BMV. He living like a king. Newspaper in the morning. Nice breakfast. Orange, freshly squeezed orange juice. Must be nice. Your breakfast, sir. You don't even got to shave itself. Pork bellies. I have a hunch something very exciting is going to happen in the pork belly market this morning. <laughs> pork belly market. <laughs> Anybody eat pork belly? Doesn't sound good. Will Miss Penelope be dining with you this evening, sir? Yes. Yes, she will. That Mercedes nasty. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Could at least open his own door. He too spoiled. Good morning, Mr. Winthorpe. Good morning, Falsey. He got his own personal human coat rack. Good morning, Mr. Winthorpe. Morning. Winthorpe is a god. Good morning, Mr. Winthorpe. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Mr. Winthorpe. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Winthorpe. Yeah, I don't want to feel left out. Bellies. I knew it. I knew it. Good morning, Mr. Duke. Good morning, Mr. Duke. These guys look really rich. Good morning, Good morning Mr. Duke. Duke. Good morning, Mr. Duke. Good morning, Mr. Duke. Good morning. I'm so jealous. I just cannot believe how stupid these scientists are. The eternal question. There's no question. The answer is up. I don't care about heredity versus environment. In fact, I'm sick and tired of hearing it. I care about how much money we can get for our pork bellies. <laughs> Winthrop put in a sell order for 76 and a quarter. His charts say that's as high as it's going to go. It'll never get that high. Let's sell now. Let's see if Winthrop's right. But I say we sell now. Just another few seconds. The market's closing. We won't get the order in. Shut up. <laughs> Winthrop might have been right. We just made an extra three hundred and forty-seven thousand dollars. Get me wins, though. Turtle wins the race. I never had an instant of doubt in my mind, Mortimer. Oh yes, I'm sure a lot of people went belly up on that. One. I'll see you at the club. I just got the belly joke at this moment. I don't know why it just hit me this late. Belly up on that one, <laughs> pork belly. <laughs> Money to give you. Please. Oh, Anything. Please. they doing Eddie dirt ball. Please. He ain't got no legs. I really don't appreciate this. Mike Ham, anything to try 
with liberty and justice for all. Stay out of here. Y'all out of soul. Appreciate it. They didn't show him no justice. <laughs> Beat him upside the head with a newspaper. We're about to make millions of dollars in frozen orange juice, and you're talking to me about human nature. How much money do y'all need? You only can get so much, and then after that, it's like, what now? I'd forgotten your Christmas bonus. There you are. Five dollars. Five dollars? Maybe I'll go to the movie by myself. Half of it is from me. Hey. Thank you, Mr. Mortimer. They did him dirty. Five dollars for a Christmas bonus? <laughs> That's not funny, but that ain't cool. That ain't cool, man. I shouldn't even laugh. Good, Lewis. Feeling good, Todd. I'll be having dinner with Penelope tonight. Oh, lucky you. It's not luck. Randolph, Lord, my boy. Payroll checks for our employees. Seem to be paying some of our employees an awful lot of money. Can't get around the old minimum wage, Mortimer. Minimum wage? Really? These guys are cheap. $50,000? Clarence Beaks, the hell is... <clears throat> <clears throat> Somebody needs some water. Clarence Beaks, oh yes, of course. He's doing something top secret for us. Research. Good work, Winthorpe. I'll take care of this one personally. Two cheap bastards. I guess that's how they stay rich. Bye, Winthorpe. Goodbye, Winthorpe. Oh uh, no, the popo. Roll away. Roll the other way. Hey, baby, what's happening? How you doing? You want you to have a man with no legs, you never go back, baby. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You see Parky and Ben? We can make it, baby. Me and you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, he blind now. <laughs> Dad, what you want? Police, we've had some complaints about con men pretending to be blind. Oh, I'd love to help you, man, but I ain't seen nothing since I stepped on that landmine via con back in 72. Rough, very painful. You were in Nam? Um, so were we. Where? I was in um, Sang Bang. Sang Bang? I was all over that place, basically, a lot of places. What unit were you in? Uh, I was with the Green Beret, a uh, special unit battalion, commando, airborne tactics, specialist tactics, uh, unit battalion. <laughs> yeah, it was real hush hush. I was Agent Orange, that was my name, Agent Orange, special Agent Orange, that was me. Airborne, huh? He got his legs. Ah, oh, man, you can't be playing like that. I can see. I can see. I have. I, can, I have legs. I can walk. Jesus, praise Jesus. I appreciate this. Oh, this is beautiful. I can't believe. Thank you. I just don't know what to do. Police looking like. You know what? I, I can't believe it. Really, I appreciate it. Y'all okay now. I'm alright. Look at this. God is good. He give you legs and you can walk again. We got living proof. <laughs> Mm, po po deep out here. Oh, I'm sorry about that, man. This is hell. What? what you talking about, man? Don't, 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 don't kill you. Oh. Hey, brother. Oh. He's in there. After him. Watch out. He probably has a weapon. He probably has a weapon. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Look at him. problem officer <laughs> I just start walking again y'all come on now what the heaven's name is going on here he tried to rob the payroll Randolph I didn't do nothing man this guy bumped into me you knocked me down and tried to grab my briefcase yeah but it was an accident man really what's gonna happen to this man we're gonna book him salt attempted robbery and resisting arrest hey man I'm innocent this guy bumped into me I was trying to give him his briefcase back to him I would like to press full oh went Thorpe. people like this are a menace to decent society you're from a broken home of course it was broke so what? I want a lawyer. Is there a lawyer in the house? <clears throat> yeah, there's a few of them. <laughs> they don't want to represent. They don't want to represent a brother. That man is a product of a poor environment. Absolutely nothing wrong with him. I can prove it. Of course there's something wrong with him. He's a Negro. Probably been stealing since he could crawl. <laughs> it's funny, but it's mess. <laughs> the stereotype is crazy. Uh, he's a Negro. He's probably been stealing since he could crawl. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. I stopped stealing at 20 something. Surroundings, I, I started when I was able to walk, not crawl. That man could run our company as well as your young Winthorpe. Are we talking about a wager, Randolph? I suppose you think Winthorpe, say if he would lose his job, would resort to holding up people on the streets? No, I don't think just losing his job would be enough for Winthorpe. I think we'd have to keep a little more misfortune on those narrow shoulders. This time it's in a good cause. How much you want to bet? The usual amount why not the usual amount they do this a lot what the they're gonna they so rich they're just gonna play with somebody like that ain't even cool someone has to take a stand against criminals like that but he could have killed you such a situation you have no time to think groveled on the ground and begged for mercy i want you lewis now uh-huh coleman i think we'll take our drink uh, in the living room by the fire no dessert sir you have it <laughs> hey, hey throw it away he didn't put something special in it trying to take him out 
Hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Duke, sir. What? A scientific experiment. Oh, not at all, sir. No, I, it all sounds very uh, original. I shall make the necessary arrangements. <laughs> he do not like his job. It's a dangerous person to have working for you. Darn nice of her, too. Oh, heck, 2nd of January. Can't do it, Pooh. Oh, Lewis. It's the day the crop reports come out. What do those stupid old crop reports have to do with Mumsy's party? It's the busiest time of the year in the office, sugar pop. She unzipped him. We are going to make a great couple. We're going to have a great life. Excuse me, sir. What is it now, Colton? Will you be needing me anymore this evening, sir? No, I think I have everything I want. Good night, sir. <laughs> Get out of here. Let me finish what I started. It's going down. By the fire, too? You had to make sure a dude had his payroll before I made my move. Tell us how you cut him. Yeah, I ain't cut him with no knife. You told me last night, cut the dude. These I cut him. And my chain belt and kung fu. Bruce Lee was my teacher. Watch this. What? He learned from the masters. Quarter blood technique. Do that, a quarter blood will drop out of a person's body. Tell how you beat on the cop. Wasn't no cop, man. Cops, plural. Nine, ten cops. Beat the shit out of ten cops and had to change my whole strategy around. Yo, when they brought you in here, you was crying. <laughs> Cause it's one of the cops fell. Tear gas in my face. How come I don't see no marks on you? Yeah. yeah. Cause I'm a karate man. Karate man bruised on the inside. They don't show their weakness. You don't know that cause you're a big Barry White looking mother. <laughs> now get off my back, all right? It's my just hurry up and get here. I ain't got no time to be sitting inside this cell. Where is your Mr. Big Time Pimp? Yeah. Didn't I tell you? Phone and my limousine is busted and I can't get in contact with my Yeah, the phone and the limo is busted. What are you, ignorant? <laughs> hey, look, sit down, all right? It ain't cool being no jive turkey so close to Thanksgiving. Uh-oh. Hey, Do <laughs> you know who you f***ing with? Ah, back. <laughs> He's still talking Cell number four on the ninth floor. Billy Ray Valentine. Yes. Move it. He got it out. He got it out. I did. He made bail. Who the heck bailed him out? He don't even know where to go. Like, where do I go <laughs> from here? Am I out? What'd I do? Mr. Valentine, could you spare us a moment? Whiskey. All you want. It's a Hennessy. Falling for the same trick twice, all right? You're going to get me in the car and have me arrested for stealing it? We're the ones who bailed you out. I don't know about this. These two sneaky. And they too cheap to be bailing somebody out. Suck they up to something. <laughs> they look too excited, too. They come bearing gifts. That's never good. Hey, man, who are y'all? What y'all want with me? My brother and I run a privately funded program to rehabilitate culturally disadvantaged people. We'd like to supply you with a home of your own, car, and employment with our company. We're going to start you at $80,000 a year. $80,000. Mm. 80 k a year sounds wonderful. What about the police and the payroll? We've had the charges dropped. You're a free man, Valentine. We can stop right now and you can walk out on us forever. They always give you an out. No, I believe I can hang out with you fellas for a little while. Excellent. Yeah. I'm Randolph Duke. How you doing, Randy? My younger brother, Mortimer. Hey, Marte. What is it? Billy Ray Valentine. Capricorn. <laughs> he ain't got nowhere to go anyway, so he like, shoot, let me go on here and go for a ride. But man, I don't like these two. I don't trust them. Not one bit. Here we are, William. How you doing? Hey, Randy, Morte, this is nice. I like this. William? Uh, Billy Ray. William, this is Coleman. He'll look after your day-to-day -day needs. You get a glass, I'll give you a sip, man. Coleman is here to take care of you. He is your servant. May I take it? Get out of here, man. <laughs> Valentine wants to take a hot bath and to get into something comfortable. A jacuzzi, sir. Man, I knew y'all was f***ing, man. You <laughs> it's a whirlpool bath, sir. I think you'll enjoy it. What's he doing in there? He's uh, singing, sir. They're very musical people, aren't they? They're very musical people. What shall I do with his, uh, his clothes? Send him to the laundry. He'll have to have something to wear back to the ghetto after I've won our bet. Well, William, what do you think? I like it, Randy. It's very nice. Yes. This is your home. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. I like my home. It's very nice. That's very nice. <laughs> you see in this room. <laughs> he trying to steal. <laughs> You know what I like most about my place, Randy? Curtains, man. Look at the curtains. It's beautiful the way I got this place set up, man. This kind of thing happens to me every week. <laughs> this is your house. These are your personal possessions. You will only be stealing from yourself. Look, first you throw my ass in jail, right? Then you're gonna drive me out here and start running some garbage to me about this is my house. I understand how you feel, William. You may do with it whatever you wish. It's Billy Ray's base, right? I own this base. I can play like Harlem Globetrotters. What he did, right? <clears throat> oh, it's his. 
It's his. I'm sorry about that. Perfectly all right, William. It was your vase. That's a cheap vase, man. That was a fake, right? We paid $35,000 for it. Ooh. But I seem to remember we estimated its value at $50,000 for the insurance company. Made him some money. William has already made us a profit of $15,000. <laughs> you want me to break something else? Yo, deal. <laughs> I said, hold up now. Insurance company going to be like, hey, y'all scamming. So now it's time to ruin his life. They already bossed up Billy's life. Let's hope we're not pushing our luck using Mr. Beaks for this, as well as for the crop report. We are involved in a very important scientific experiment, and Mr. Beaks has always proven reliable. <laughs> yep, look like you gotta have a lot of money to be in this room. Excuse me. Oh, he stuffed something and went through his pocket. The framing has begun. Gentlemen, there is something rotten in the Heritage Club. Something that has never raised its vile head in the 208 years. There is a thief, and he's sitting here among us. I'd like to introduce Mr. Beeks, Lindhurst Security. This the guy that just stuffed it. Oh, my God. Thank you. I'd like to ask you gentlemen to all stand up. Winthorpe's going to be like, hey, what? How did this get here? I'd like to ask you to place your left hand on the shoulder of the man to your left. I would now ask you place your right hand in the coat pocket of the member to your right. Empty the contents of those pockets under the table. Thank you. You may sit. We marked three $50 bills, red X's. Less than 10 minutes ago, those bills were stolen from a coat in the cloakroom. One of our operatives witnessed the theft. <laughs> they too good, man. Ain't no way he gonna be like, it wasn't me. He went straight to him. Mm. Uh, no, no, wait a minute. I've never seen this money before in my life. Oh, Winthorpe, I'm glad your parents are not alive to see this. Wait, now this is totally preposterous. This is insane. I have no reason to steal. This is sad. They playing with this man's life just because they feel like it. They're bored. What type of stuff is this? You realize you're making a grave mistake. You know who I am? Winthorpe Lewis III. Take off your clothes. Now, wait a minute. I know my rights. Take off your clothes. Welcome to the doghouse. You are making a career decision here. Strip you little shit before I tell you what you <laughs> ask me. <laughs> Take your clothes off, Winthorpe. Did you hear what this man said to me? Now, I have witnesses. This man is physically threatening me. They try to make it easy, Winthorpe. Louis III. Master Charge American Express Gold Card. Visa, Diners Club, Carte Blanche. Two tickets. Boheme. La Boheme. It's an opera. It's an opera. <laughs> it's an opera? <laughs> Cocaine? One cellophane bag. That's not mine. I've never seen that before in my life. Never seen the money, the cocaine. They got him good. That's PC. PC. You ever seen what this stuff does to kids? You are looking at three to five mandatory. That's... Man. They, they smoke, Lewis. They put PCP on him. I thought it was cocaine. Cocaine would have been a little lighter. What's happening, Terry? Give me a bottle of your best champagne. You got a lot of nerves showing your face around here after all this time. I got your money. Got your poll. Measly. $27. <laughs> we owed him $27. Billy Ray. Honey, is that you? Who you think it is? Champagne for everybody. Courtesy of Billy Ray Valentine. It's Billy Ray balling now. He gonna have all the girl. All these two dudes that was in jail. And people would come and say, Billy Ray, Barry White pulling up. And not understand my sexuality. I know. I'm very sexy man. You was in the tank bragging on your limousine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that just happens to be my limousine outside. Oh, son. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies want to drop by my house for cocktails. Cocktails, huh? Take off the tails. It's going to be something else going down. Hey, yo, cuz, you gonna vomit the bathroom downstairs. Billy Ray got it turned up up in here. Hey, 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 it's Persian rug, it's Persian! Care about the rug? It's Persian rug! Y'all know about this, y'all from the hood. Hey, what is this? Who has been putting out their coals on my phone? He getting uppity. He getting uppity now. Have you people ever heard of toasters? That's not even uppity, that's just respect. That's just respect at the end of the day. Get the <laughs> <laughs> Get your asses out. Go back to the hood with the roaches and the rats. Man. Get out of <laughs> He changing up on us. It was a stone groove, my man. You are the most righteous. Yeah, right. Just get the <laughs> out, man. Let's be quiet out there. My neighbors are asleep. They work too. Look at him. 
Why don't you retire, sir, and I'll straighten up. Got a big day ahead of you tomorrow. Yeah, I think I will um retire. <laughs> Good night, Coleman. I'm gonna start using that instead of go to bed. I'm about to retire, guys. Talk to you tomorrow. Good night, sir. Okay, but the butler seemed like he gonna like Billy. My bad, butler. I might have been wrong about you in the beginning. Let's go, Winthorpe. <sighs> Winthorpe down bad. Excuse me. I'll see you later. We'll have lunch. How'd you like to make a fast hunt? I just got out. Oh, come on, what are you trying to do? Entrap me right here in the middle of the police department? <laughs> That'd be different. This is for... Is that your purse? Yes, yeah, sir. That's a nice purse. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Man, look the other way, bro. You probably breathing hard all up my nose. Glad to see you. Lewis, making a scene. Do you smell? I smell. Do you realize where I've been since yesterday? They beat me up, stole my clothes. Those men wanted to have sex with me. <clears throat> One of them tried to bend me over the sun. They tried to violate him. This place is indicative of the state of correctional institutions in this country. They might as well let all the convicts out. It's far worse on the inside. They wants me to call off the wedding, and so does Todd. Todd, I swear it on my honor, I am not an angel dust dealer. Lewis. Uh, everywhere for you, baby. I'm hurting, baby. I just need a show. Lewis, who's this person? I've never seen this woman before in my life. Don't say it. Baby. Come on, baby. I'll do all the things. Lewis. Oh. oh. Disgusting. <laughs> Creep. I never want to see you again as long as I live. Is he getting topped off right now? Grand. Great. Thanks a lot. Choke. Your friend said it would get you off. You mean someone told you to do this to me? It's right over there. It's gone now. <laughs> I'm gonna give you 20 for the cab, and you're gonna give me 50 when we get to your house. The butler Coleman will give you $50, drive you anywhere in the city you wish to go. You don't exactly look like the type that has a butler. You know, if you're hustling... Hustling you? Like, do you know who I am? I'm Winthorpe. You don't think they give these to just anyone, do you? Well, I don't take credit cards. It's not even his house anymore. Oh, man. Yes. Ah. Oh. Coleman, could you please let me in? I'm, I'm having trouble with my key. Who are you? What do you want? Coleman, just unchain the door and let me in. I'm in no mood for jokes. There's no Coleman here. You've made a mistake. <laughs> Acting like he don't even know who he is. Winthorpe's going crazy. Coleman! If you don't go away, I shall be forced to call the police. Mm, you don't want to go back to jail. You know what they try to do to you in there. Uh. Hello? I'll be making a cash withdrawal in the amount $500. In fact, we'll make it 1000 Excuse me. I'm sorry, Mr. Winthorpe, but the IRS has frozen you. <clears throat> You're a heroin dealer, Mr. Winthorpe. It wasn't heroin. It was angel dust PCP, and I never even had my hands on it. Because it's not the kind of business we want here at First National. Wow. What am I supposed to live on? I mean, what's going to happen to me? Roger. Put him out on the street. <sighs> Why is someone deliberately trying to ruin my life? Tell you what, forget about the 50 bucks, okay? I'm going home. <sighs> She spared Dean. You got to believe me. You must believe me. Hey, them two dudes deserve to die for something like that. I'm not die, but go to jail or something. This ain't cool. They gotta be. They gotta have some type of punishment, karma, or something. Wait, wait. I have over one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in that bank. You don't care because you helped them do this to me. Get off your knees, Louie. He looking like how Billy was in the beginning. Never done a hard day's work in your life. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this, but come on, get in. She gonna help him. That's a real one. <laughs> she chewing that gum hard as heck. I'm not gonna rack it at him. Come on, get in. Easy on that five. I'm, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. This is a great, great mistake. It looked just like the dude that had me busted. That's my car, Coleman. There's some strange going on. Here. It's been strange going on you don't want to be late for your first day at work sir. Man, what am i supposed to do in here what they want from me i'm sure they'll tell you sir yeah but what if i can't do it just be yourself sir whatever happens they can't take that away from you <laughs> good advice excuse me my name is yes mr valentine they're waiting for you in the last office down the hall they was ready for him so this is what it looks like in rich world never been oh william my boy right on time sit down we are commodities brokers, William. Commodities are agricultural products like 
coffee that you had for breakfast, pork bellies, which is used to make bacon, which you might find in a bacon and lettuce and tomato sandwich. Mm -hmm. And then there are other... I had pork belly before then. ...and orange juice and gold. Though, of course, gold doesn't grow on trees like oranges. <laughs> uh, clear so far? Yeah. Good, William. Now, uh, some of our clients are speculating that the price of gold will rise and definitely did and we have other clients who are speculating that the price of gold is going to fall and they place their orders with us and we buy or sell their gold for them. And the good part william is that no matter whether our clients make money or lose money duke and duke get the commission oh my goodness you think valentine they get richies away sounds to me like you guys are a couple of bookies i told you he'd understand it's like a genius figured out what happened. It's the same guy who tried to rob the payroll. No doubt about it. That's him. He planted the drugs on me. Rahim, Mohammed, Larry. How you guys doing? Hey, hey, how you doing? doing? <laughs> Brothers like her. <laughs> I mean, if he's being driven around in my car, he could actually be living in my house. Maybe he's even taken my job. And Colin, after years of service, this betrayal, I don't understand it. But there's going to be retribution. Oh, he's going to pay. Things that I am going to... Shut up! Listen, taxis cost money, food costs money, and rent costs money. Now, you want me to help you out? I expect a lot in return. <laughs> don't get dressed. here when I moved in. Put them on if you want. Look, I, I cannot begin to tell you how much... This nip view is crazy. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh... Ophelia. Ophelia? You realize that that's know, the name I know, I know, I know. Hamlet's girlfriend. He went crazy. She killed herself. This is not Shakespeare. The only thing I got going for me in this whole big wide world is this body, this face, and what I got up here. Ah. Mm. Uh. Place is a dump, but it's cheap. It's all mine. I've saved 42 grand, and it's in T-bills, earning interest. I figure I got three more years on my back. I'll have enough to retire on. You're a prostitute she's a business woman i'm talking about a business proposition louis i help you get yourself back on your feet and you pay me in cash five figures that's the deal and it's not subject to negotiation understood how did that just come true i just prayed on that in my head and it came true by the way food and rent are not the only things around here that cost money you sleep on the them jugs look like they cost us a pretty penny they might be natural they look good either way Barbara Duke here by 200, Maybelly contracts is 66.8. It's a big mistake, man. All right, but y'all gonna get reamed on this one. Why shouldn't we buy now, William? Price is gonna keep going down. Randolph, this isn't Monopoly money we're playing with. This is Randolph, Duke. Hold that belly over. They're mind. gonna trust him. Christmas time. Everybody's uptight. Could we please buy now, Randolph? Right, but if you wanna lose money, go ahead. What are you trying to say, William? Pork belly prices have been dropping all morning. Everybody's sitting in their office and they're waiting for them to hit rock bottom so they can buy cheap and go long. The people that own the pork belly contracts are going batch. So they're thinking, hey, we're losing all our damn money. Christmas is around the corner, and I ain't gonna have no money to buy my son the G.I. Joe with the Kung Fu grip. My wife ain't gonna wanna, f my wife ain't gonna make love to me because I ain't got no money, right? So they're sitting there and they're panicking, they're screaming, sell, sell! Because they don't wanna lose all their money, right? They out there panicking right now. I can feel it. They out there. They're panicking. Look at them. He's right, Mortimer. My God, look at it. I wait till you get to about 64, then I'd buy. Cleared out all the suckers by then. Do you realize how much money he just saved us? Money isn't everything, Randolph. <laughs> Advise our clients interested in bellies to buy at 64. Mr. Valentine has set the price. They need to break bread. Well done, William. Come on, Randolph. We're gonna be late. He don't like that. You let a Negro set the price? Are you kidding me? Money isn't everything. Yo. <laughs> More of a drop his money clip. Big all there, all of it. Thank you, William. They was trying to test him. Nice try, Mortimer. Thought you had one, huh? Uh, he haven't been stealing since he's been crawling. Neat the elms, we sing our tone. Muffy in the bathroom stall. Margaret by the lake. Susan down in Whitley Hall. Constance on the May. Constance would fulfill your needs. Where the hell did they muster up these guys from? <laughs> uh oh. God, I don't believe it. Ah, there you are. He's sick. I'll handle this, Pokemon. <laughs> I realize this looks completely awful, but I just wanted to assure you, my friends, that I am completely innocent. I'm going to fight this thing till the end. Important thing is, 
I'm going to be defending myself, and, um, well, I wondered if you could see your way clear to perhaps advance me a small loan until the hearing. Frankly, Winthorpe, and I think I speak for all of us, I think it shows incredibly bad taste for you to come here and embarrass us all like that. Huh? I believe I'm still a member of this club. Nobody wants to buy your drugs here, Louie. Why don't you just go away? You move on pretty fast. Burnt my fingers, man. I beg your pardon? Man that watches so hot was smoking. <laughs> hot? He yeah, 50 bucks for it. 50 bucks? This is a Rochefoucauld, the thinnest water-resistant watch in the world. Singularly unique, sculptured in design. 50 bucks. 50 dollars? That got him? That's how they get you in the pawn shop. They catch you at the lowest. He gonna boom that thing for thousands, too. He came up. How much for the gun? Bet not said 50 bucks. <laughs> this snail is standing in front of the Cadillac salesman, see? And uh, he looks up at the salesman and he says, how much is that Cadillac? Snail said, I want a big S put on each door. A big S. And on top of the car, so the salesman says, but what do you want that for? See, when I drive down the avenue, I want everybody to say, look at that S car go. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> not funny. Look at that car go. <laughs> he looked miserable out there. Going long on April wheat. What do you think, Valentine? I can think of three real good reasons why you shouldn't do something like that, George. One, the Russian wheat harvest isn't gonna be as bad as everybody thinks. Two. And three, jewels around your girlfriend's neck here. I think you'll need every penny you got just to keep her happy. That's called keeping it real. <laughs> they might not be used to that one, Billy. <laughs> that real talk. Somebody like it. You could buy all the girl everything in the world. She still wants somebody else's cock. 103. That's it. You're staying in bed. Stay here. It's 10 o'clock. Here's Johnny. Listen, baby, I'm sorry. My mama just came in from out of town. Can we do it next? I'm trying to do a shining role play. <laughs> Flowers for me. Thanks. You're supposed to bust the door open, man. You messed up the role play. <laughs> Lay down. <coughs> you had to cancel your appointment. What are you doing? <laughs> she can't keep doing me like this. They already say I'm a simp. Oh, Ophelia. Can't tell you how good that feels. <sighs> You've been so kind to me. I'm just protecting my investment. <laughs> That's all. Can you invest in me? Shut up and go to sleep. I could damn sure I use an investor. 99 and a half. I'm gonna go shopping and I'm gonna come back and make you a nice quiet dinner. Now read your paper. Christmas, huh? I'll give him a Christmas present he'll never forget. <laughs> he turned up. Get well first. The Valentine got Duke and Duke turned up. He really turned into a businessman from the streets. <laughs> He's taking a whole salmon. Hey, man. Winthorpe was living like a king in the beginning. To see him like this is crazy. Ah, William, where have you been? The party's already begun. Yes, sir. I was wondering about this $10,000 check to Mr. Clarence. I'll, uh, I'll take care of it, Valentine. We did manage to stay in business for 47 years before your arrival. Have a Who the heck is Clarence Beeks? It's the same thing Winthorpe tried to ask. Merry Christmas. Oh, oh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. He busted. Oh, he playing heavy drugs in there. <laughs> he was gonna go down for life. Randolph! Mortimer, come in here quickly. I finally caught him. Who are you? Winthorpe, is that you? Look here in his office drawer. He's got all the bad drugs here. Marijuana joints. Hey. Pills, Quaalude, Valium, yellow ones, red ones, cocaine grinder. He's the pusher, not me. I just came in and caught this man planting this stuff in my desk. It's obviously some primitive attempt to try to frame me. Winthorpe resorting to crime. That isn't the pot calling the cat. That's part of the wager. This man's obviously a lunatic. I'm calling security. Put that phone down. <laughs> Hello, security. Oh. Merry Christmas. Try to rob me, plant drugs on me, you steal my house, my car, my job. Put that gun away at once, Winthorpe. Y'all drove me here. Freeze, slime ball. Oh, no. Whoa. Yeah, you'll be sorry. You'll all be very, very sorry. <laughs>
They drove him to a madman. He <laughs> walked off like a player. Walked off like a player. We caught him pilfering at our club, embezzling funds, selling drugs. Now he's dressing up like Santa Claus. Very sordid business. I can't believe Winthorpe would fall to pieces like that. None of my business, but that guy belongs behind bars. He's flat broke, obviously hungry. Oh, but he has money to buy drugs, right? Listen, you can't be soft on people like that. Take it from me, I know, Randolph. <laughs> oh, he pocketed the joint. To an edible. Pay up, Mortimer. I won the bet. Here. One dollar. <laughs> All this over a dollar? Perfectly useless psychopath like Valentine and turned him into a successful executive. We turned an honest, hard working man into a violently deranged would be killer. <laughs> They're washing their hands of that filth. What are we going to do about taking Winthorpe back? I don't want Winthorpe back. You mean keep Valentine on as managing director? Do you really believe I would have a nigger run our... You mother... Of course not. Neither would I. I do think we should hold off on switching them back, though, until we get that crop report New Year's Eve, don't you? Absolutely. No sense rocking the boat until then. If uh, Mr. Beeks does what we paid him to do, we should have a very happy New Year. Indeed. <laughs> Ugly bastards. They dropped that N-word super hard. I'm appalled. Hey, Winthorpe! Winthorpe! <laughs> Winthorpe turned into a damn zombie. He's nothing but a shell of himself now. That They gotta be stopped. I wonder what they paid Beaks to do. Who is Beaks? He begin paid well. Hey Winthorpe! Hey yo Winthorpe! <laughs> Winthorpe balance a little off. He probably smell horrible. Uh, he, he, he got good food on him. <laughs> uh, oh, with the hair. Sheesh. He pissing himself. Oh, well, at least he's not pissing himself. Oh my god. It can't get no worse. Hey, hey! He was about to. Oh man, he was about to blow his brains out. This ain't. Yeah, this is, this is going way too far now. He threw the gun and it fired. Good thing, man. Whoo! for you excuse me the door was open i'm sorry to bother you but um i'm looking for a lewis winthorpe does he live here wait here a minute i'll be right back Louis, it's him it's valentine oh no louis it was close i tried to od now make sure he gets plenty of rest and for god's sake no excitement thanks doc not at all merry christmas merry christmas Steve. i'll let myself out call me thank you no excitement as soon as he wake up and see valentine he's gonna be excited Dream. I dreamt the whole thing. It was just a bad dream. Good morning, sir. Merry Christmas. I had the most absurd nightmare. I was poor and no one liked me. I lost my job. I lost my house. Penelope hated me. It was all because of this terrible, awful Negro. Hey, man! <laughs> they dropping that end bomb heavy this movie. It was that dope. You're a dead man, Valentine! When Thorpe, I liked you. You ain't had to drop that end bomb. You could have said black man, African American. Brother. Dukes used us as guinea pigs. To see how our lives would turn out. They made a bet. Fred is true, sir. I believe in Louis. Dukes ruined my life over a bet. For how much? One dollar. You know, you can't just go around and shoot people in the kneecaps. Do you have any better ideas? Yeah, you know, it occurs to me that the best way you hurt rich people is by turning them into poor people. Uh, yeah, we just saw that work. For next year's orange crop are being delivered from Miami to the Department of Agriculture in Washington, D.C. <laughs> they holding them crops down like they top secret files. That's 
the guy who paid me to talk dirty to you. Clarence Beeks, head of Lindhurst Security. Clarence Beeks! Oh, that Beeks! Ten grand. Didn't put that together in my head. God, the Dukes are going to corner the entire frozen orange juice market. Unless somebody stops them. Or beats them to it. Eggnog. Look at him. Operation Strange Fruit proceeding according to plan. I anticipate penetration and acquisition at 2100 hours tomorrow. Hold on. Fuck off. <laughs> when can we expect to live? I will be leaving DC by train. We'll rendezvous at 2400 hours. The Hilton Hotel, parking level D, section 4. It's the orange section. Orange. <laughs> I like that. Very good. The final payment is due on delivery. In cash. We got all the info we need. Rich punks. <laughs> we coming for y'all. Rich just think they can do whatever they want with no consequence. Ruin people's lives, play with people's lives, and no consequence. And just wash their hands of the filth. Oh, it don't work that way. We fighting back. Oh, you make it with an eight? Haven't you had enough to drink? Are you kidding? It's, it's my turn to drive. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Well, I'm sure you think it is, but it isn't. Don't you remember this morning you drove the shipment? That's the real eight. Yeah, I drove the anchovy paste, but you had the videotaper. Well, I just, I backed them up about five feet. It's my turn now. Who let these two guys get in control of the ape? That can't be said. Merry New Year! In this country, we say Happy New Year. <laughs> I am Nanja Ibuko, exchange student from Cameroon. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> it's tribal. Y'all don't understand it. You want some beef jerky? Oh, please. There's plenty of no. Happy New Year! Oh, and a Happy New Year to you, too. Beef Jackie? No, oh, no, son, thank you very much. No, it gives me the wind, something terrible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we are moving, we are moving. They got this boy set up, he don't even know it. He don't even know who they are. Uh, coming, my child, join the party. Uh, let me see now, you would be from uh, Austria, am I right? No, I am Inga from Sweden. Sweden? But you're wearing later hosen. Yeah, for sure, from Sweden. <laughs> he looking like, man, what the heck going on up in here? It's a clown show. Please to help me with my hawk sack. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Swap out. Hurry up, hurry up. Welcome. <laughs> They're welcome. Who is that? Open the door, man. They got the suitcase. Monkey! What the fuck is you doing, you clown? I certainly hope there's enough spears on the train for me. Nenge Yomboko from Cameroon. Do you remember me? It's like. Winthorpe! Lionel! You make a cool brother, Winthor. <laughs> Winthor, tread lightly. Tread carefully, Winthor. My brother. He got a smoke up. You will help me get my rucksack down for the Swedish people. Remember the one we did? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, you think you got it? Hey, that's all we needed to hear. We out. <laughs> okay. oh, let's go. Weirdos, we're gonna take a little walk. Don't 
try anything funny or the whore loses a kidney. Let's go. It was for AJ. Y'all had a good run. I still got faith. All right, hold it right here. Oh, honestly, Beaks, as far as we go, no more cockamamie cigar smoke, no more Swedish meatballs there, and no more phony Irish whiskey, no more goddamn jerky beef. The party's over. Come on, what do you mean the party's over? It's not even 10 o'clock, you dummy. Come on, loosen up, man. It's almost New Year's Eve. <laughs> Beaks pistol whipped him. Oh! You don't hit my kind. <laughs> Sometimes it looks so human, it gives you the creeps. These two guys. <laughs> Oh no, Beaks! Uh, that black one must be the female. <laughs> Beaks just got pulled. He got what he deserved. That's a hell of a punishment. Jeez, Beaks, that gotta hurt, bro. Beaks, are you there, Beaks? I'm over here. It's far enough. Uh, did, did, did you get the report? See the money. Okay, toss it over. For these two to be so rich, they're two idiots. Thank you, Briggs. Wonderful news. Wonderful. Beaks. Happy New Year. <laughs> they gonna get played at their own game. How does it feel? I can't wait to see it happen. My life savings, uh, I try not to lose it. Lose it? And in a couple hours, you're gonna be the richest butler that ever lived, man. <laughs> I worked real hard for this, Louie. Hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Ophelia. What are you doing? That's us, Louie. Um, Coleman, oh, would you please? Thank you. He was talking all that smack when he first met her. You're a prostitute, this and that. Now look at her. You can find love. Anywhere, guys. I could use a stiff drink. Would you get a joint? <laughs> like a drink don't sound too bad right now. Do we get to see the rich idiot's downfall? Good morning, Mr. Duke. Hello, sir. Good morning, Mr. Duke. Think big. Think positive. He's back. He's back. One minute you're up half a million in soybeans and the next boom. Your kids don't go to college and they've repossessed you. Jeez. Yeah, we gotta kill a mother we gotta <laughs> He got the hood done came out of him. I'm ready to kill him up, up in here. Don't worry if the price starts going up. Just keep buying. But gentlemen, they're going to broadcast a crop report in an hour. What if they're... Let us worry about that. We got the inside scoop. Listen to us. Yes, sir. It's like a relay race up in there. Let's kick some ass. They look like they ready. It's wild out there. The last bastion of pure capitalism left on earth. Here in New York, they trade everything. Gold, silver, platinum, heating oil, propane, cocoa and sugar, and of course, frozen concentrated orange juice. Runners then hand those orders to the traders in the pits. They're trading cotton over there. That's the silver pit. Remind me of Wolf of Wall Street. The is going to be buying like crazy right from the open. We'll be waiting until he drives the price up. Right. I can't wait to see his face when they broadcast that genuine crop report. Look at him up in there, rich, whatever that is. Looking rich. 102 bin for They think they got everything under control. The Dukes are trying to corner the market. They know something. I can feel it. Let's get in on it. Oh, they're going to grab everybody else in on it. Some madhouse in there. That's not right. How can the 
price be going down. Something's wrong. Where's Wilson? Oh, no. What are they doing here? They're selling, Mortimer. It's that crop report. Yeah, God help y'all. Somebody need to help y'all. Don't call on God. Don't bring him in this. He ain't got nothing to do with it. Don't save them, God. I told you we shouldn't have committed everything, you asshole. Oh, they committed everything. I tell them to sell. <laughs> they talking it all off. So, so. Ladies and gentlemen, Secretary of Agriculture. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the orange crop estimates for the next year. Cold winter has apparently not affected the orange harvest. Got him! Now that's how you do it right there. Y'all want to play with my life? Watch how we screw y'all over. Let's see y'all bounce back. It's a beautiful sight. <laughs> he falling under the pressure. How does it feel? They look devastated. That dollar might come in handy that they that they got. <laughs> Happy New Year! How could you do this to us after everything we've done? What? Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. See, Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put you on the poor house at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. I won. I lost. One dollar. Thank you, Lewis. Idiot. After you. Certainly. <laughs> How does it feel? Join me, bro. Margin call, gentlemen. The rules of the exchange, Mr. Duke. All accounts to be settled at the end of the day's trading. Without exception. Seize all assets of Duke and Duke Commodities Brokers, as well as all personal holdings of Randolph and... Who's the Negro now, Dukes? Who's the Negro now? This is an outrage. I demand an investigation. You can't sell our seats. A Duke has been sitting on this exchange since it was founded. We founded this exchange. It's ours. It belongs to us. Oh my God. Duke had a heart attack. <laughs> I don't even feel bad. Kim, now you listen to me. Get those brokers back in here. Turn those machines back on. You and your Nobel Prize. You idiot. <laughs> Where's Beak? Where in the hell is Beak? Beak's booty hole hurt right now. He just took one up the. Oh. One gorilla, two gorillas. Big deal. Anyway, take a look. They're in love. Beaks. Beaks getting his cheeks clapped. <laughs> hey, Beaks, like, I ain't got no sympathy for you, brother. You deserved it. They living good. Hey, Coleman. Yes? What should we do about lunch? The lobster, the crack crab. Dimitri, sir. Lobster and crack crack. Coleman got, Coleman got a butler. Primo good, Mr. Coleman, sir. Yeah, I ain't cooking it no more. Dimitri, whip us up something. We rich now. Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. See? I like this. Everybody coinciding. He was just the Negro. Now we all getting along together. So it's about. Let's get money together. Let's run it out. Hey. Um, trading places. Watch it. <laughs> hey, they was letting that end bomb fly. Duke and Duke, you got what you got. Now, I'm sorry. I don't feel bad for you. I hope you never get your stuff back until you learn how to not be so racist. Golly. It's crazy how rich people can get so much money. You know, they get so much money they can choose to play with somebody's life over a dollar bet. What type of stuff is that? They that bored. Let's pick a couple lives to ruin and a light and let's bet a dollar and watch what unfolds. This is not fair. This is not fair to us. It's not fair to the broke people. <sighs> then they come bearing gifts, you know, cigars, money, houses, cars, jobs. How are you gonna take somebody from a messed up position and offer them all that and accept and expect them to say no? I'm on the streets. I'm out here rolling around acting like I'm crippled, trying to get some money. So if you're going to come offer me all this, yeah, you ain't got nothing else to do. I'm going to take it. Then you're going to throw me back to the ghetto when you done use me up? It ain't going to work that way. I'm fighting back. We taking everything from y'all. Now let's see if y'all can bounce back. Duke and Duke. How did y'all get the fortune? See if y'all can do it twice. Start over. We had to. What's next? <laughs> What's next, y'all? That was fun. Let me know in the comments. Until next time. <laughs>